the relevant topic of today is Lacey's actually the one that sent me. Was it Lacey? Was it you? Uh, mm. No, you know what happened? I woke I up. Tweeted. Yeah, you tweeted it, and I woke up, and it was like the first thing I saw on my feed. You tweeted it from the podcast account, and I woke up, and I like looked, and I was like, is and it that- April Fool's? And I went back to sleep, and then I woke up two hours later, and it was still there. <laughs> well, what we're going to be talking about, you were just going to have to listen to after the song intro to figure out exactly what Chingum's talking about. <laughs> Cue the chingle. <laughs> <laughs> edge of your seat. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Bingo Choom and K-Pop Tunes. I am Choom, also known as Reina. And I'm Lacey, also known as Bingo. Was that right? No, no. but like you said, keep them I... on the edge of their seat. <laughs> that was not it's, right it's at all. Good. But you know what? It's the same thing. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just gotta switch that. it up every once in a while. It's, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it is fine. As you guys know, though, the spiel, every time, we are just two fans here sharing our opinions and discussing uh, together things that are happening in the K-pop world. And if we ever present any information that is incorrect or just not up to date, please let us know very kindly so we can work to better ourselves and the information that we present. But at the end of the day, we're just here to discuss and have fun yeah yeah (laughs) so today did you guys want to know what i woke up to on twitter (laughs) we're gonna talk about chum's day (laughs) this happened a few days ago though but we're gonna talk about her week (laughs) (laughs) so so once upon a time Lacey (laughs) tweeted from the k-pop she said once upon a time from (laughs) (laughs) from the podcast account and it was about trending news. Bobby has a fiance and a baby on the way. So like when I first saw that, my initial thought was like, am I overreacting because I've been out the loop so long? Or is this really just like out of left field? Because I didn't know. I mean, I, I woke up and thought I, it was April and it was, <laughs> I thought it was April Fool's. Like literally that was my first thought. I woke up. I read that. I saw an article that you tweeted was from Soonfi, and I was like, yeah. is it April Fool's? And I went back to sleep, and then I woke up two hours later, and I was like, it's Kyle August. Soonfi is pretty, like, it's a lot more official. Yeah, of the oh, websites, K-pop. I trust it a little bit more, but it's still not the greatest, but yeah. I was just, I was half asleep. Like, I like to check social media from bed still when I'm, like, waking up to wake up. Mm-hmm. And so I wasn't awake when I opened Twitter and I saw that tweet. And I literally was just like, wait a second. I need two more hours of sleep. I'll be back, you guys. And I went back to sleep and then I woke up and I was like, oh my god, Bobby's has a fiance. And they're it having was. a baby. And they're having a baby, yeah. Is I'm this so... Robbie no, it's... 2.0? Yeah. <laughs> That was my initial thought. (laughs) It was definitely out of left field, though. And then after things settled in, my my brain immediately went, dang, he pulled an Eli from You Kiss. He pulled a Chen from EXO. Oh my god, that did happen to Chen. Yeah, because Eli Eli actually was... That was was Eli. My bad. My bad. bad. Eli, though, was the first one that did it. And he didn't do it until he was married and had the kid. He was like, hey, by the way, this is a thing. And Chen is the one that was like, well, same situation. I'm so glad I'm manifesting this because when Eli first did that, I was like, we need more of this. We do. And that's actually what we're going to talk about these three guys, obviously. 
because Bobby's news is really recent. But we're also going to spin this into the topic of dating in the K-pop world and the stigma pretty much around it and against it because I I don't know how much you looked into things on Twitter after seeing the news for Bobby. Oh, but... I'm not doing that to myself. That's like <laughs> Look, looking the good, up. The good That's news like... is it didn't blow up as much as Chen news did the bad news is there are still korean and chinese fans that are super upset about it and i'm just like i'm not surprised i already played myself reading comments about the panasonic i'm not about to do that again (laughs) (laughs) so no i didn't i probably read like the first three comments and people were congratulating him the international fan base the international fan base is very congratulatory they Mm -hmm. they just don't care although i will say with i feel like younger fans it's kind of a hit and a miss with international fans and how they feel it just really depends on their age yeah it is odd but it it just depends on their age i think and like their maturity levels but i'm happy for him and i'm happy for chen and eli obviously has his wife and family now but bobby i saw the news and after it like set in i was just like bobby's gonna be a dad anna husband yeah i completely unexpected they're in the middle of a comeback preparation too why did you just drop the news not too long ago that (laughs) (laughs) my okay so like i understand like you know you do what you want why didn't you do that like after after the the comeback news or the no i would have done it after the comeback i guess to make sure the sales were right for well, me. <laughs> well, I think what happened was YG confirmed the news that they're preparing for a comeback. And then Bobby probably got the news because he posted this on his personal Instagram. It wasn't like a statement through the company. He got on Instagram and he wrote a letter. No, I'm saying like, so if we're thinking about this in context of like how other fans are not necessarily like international, that's we're more accepting of this. If, because whenever these, whenever these, that's not a scandal to me, but when these scandals happen, their sales go, they drop, or it's like insane. And I, for me, I just would have waited. I would have got my money and then I would have dropped the news and be like, well, (laughs) my baby are set. Me, my baby, and my wife are set. So it was probably just a personal thing for him. He probably felt like, like he had to do it mm-hmm. i don't i mean like in the letter he apologized and i was like what the heck are you apologizing for i think part of it has to do with he probably did it on like a personal i mean yeah like he did it level on his own. well yeah i mean he did it he didn't do it through the company he did it on his personal instagram through a letter yeah and i feel like a lot of it had to have been on a personal level he made that decision to do it even though the comeback is soon just because I guess in Korea still, it's a really taboo thing to like have a kid before you're married sort of deal. Yeah. That's what I'm I've not, like read. I'm I don't surprised. know. Yeah, I'm not surprised either, but I don't know. I feel like that's very. I mean, I feel like it's still very current. You have to. Yeah, it just feels like it should be. very far ahead. Then. Yeah, true. And it just feels like it should be a generational thing, though, with the way. Because I remember when I was a kid, it was frowned upon. Yeah, but we're more. I mean, this is the United States. A lot of things are have changed vastly. Yeah, yeah. And culturally, it's. Sometimes a bigger it yeah it, it's a it bigger takes time mix. and there's not as many influences of different cultures and different people like it's just it's just a world it's just based on each country so i'm not surprised that things are still very traditional so i i understand that and you know parents it's generational so if, depending on the relationship of the parents they probably wanted that as well yeah the least it could have been a lot of factors so yeah yeah that makes sense and thinking about it too korea like you were saying culturally they're not as culturally exposed so it would make sense that they're still kind of like set in their ways of like well this is what yeah they haven't had like outside exposure like we're just getting to a norm where like people don't have to get married or people don't have to have kids like, it's not as frowned upon as when it was, I don't know, when we were in, like, middle school, high school, even in halfway through, I feel like it's halfway through my college years, I felt like that with a lot of family and friends where you should get married and you should have kids and 
that was like the norm and what you should do but now it's just kind of you do what you want if you don't want to have kids but you want to get married or if you want to have kids and you don't want to be married it's very much it's a lot more normal in accepting so I'm I imagine it's going to be the same way in Korea in South Korea yeah I've always seen things how the birth rates are lower over there over the past few years and that's probably because of the shift in you know people our age and younger like their their goals in life are starting to shift to what they want instead of like the standard so it's just taking I just feel like some things just take a little bit longer take than time, yeah take a little bit more time but in regards to idols in these companies I always I didn't I never really questioned it when I was younger when they were just like oh they can't date type of thing like I never really I never really paid attention to that stuff now that I'm older I'm just kind of like it is kind of weird to not have your idols <laughs> <laughs> like date people it's pretty weird but like I can't literally I feel like majority of these idols are either married or they have babies already and, and they're just, just not saying anything they're not saying anything until they start doing stuff like this like more stuff like this and I'm not really I guess for me the shock factor isn't really as shocking to me yeah because they're just living their life and I think I don't know it's just like live your life. I don't. I'm well, that's very happy thing. for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's one thing that surprises me still about the Korean entertainment industry and the American entertainment industry is like they the way they regard K-pop idols. It's just is so odd in comparison to like American celebrities and their quote dating scandals they're not really scandals it's just news of like oh my god breaking this person is dating this person whereas in korea it's oh my gosh this person is dating this person and then you see album sales plummet i think that's if i'm thinking back to all those dating scandals it's because they wanted people to be relevant so dating was never like a huge deal over here because of that regard it was always like who's gonna date who i guess it was like more we wanted more of that like we were we felt if we're comparing like the US or just it could be other countries that are the same way when it comes to those scandals i think in general the states has always been when it comes to gossip it's always dating it's it's always dating i've never i can never unless it's like if it's not dating it's like oh they're they're going to be in this movie or they're making this debut it's always how do we keep these people relevant oh it's like let's let them date this person if it's set up otherwise they're just out here dating and doing whatever they want and we love that like we eat it up (laughs) yeah I a lot of it has to do to I think with the company and Mm -hmm. labels putting Mm -hmm. that dating ban on the idols and essentially we don't don't want them to lose well essentially that quote we don't want them to lose focus is not the worry of them losing focus about like what they're doing and making it seem like they're just too busy to date it's creating this mindset of like they're not dating because they're so busy and they're always just 24 7 available to their fans and i think that's where a lot of the delusion for some fans come in as well because the company makes it seem like oh they're too busy to date they're dating their fans and then the fans it just gets yeah they eat it up because they and now it's even worse because it's like your idols are on v live all the time they they've got more you access really think it's to worse social media i do yeah what? i I, was, I thought it was horrible back then <laughs> i still well maybe not worse but i don't think it's changed at all i really? do think mm-hmm. a lot of international fans were crazier back then about like oh my god i'm married to him sort of thing and they'd get upset and i feel I do think that there's been a decline in how frequently international fans get upset at their idols in comparison to like the Korean and Chinese fans. But I don't think. Do you agree, Ghost? Oh, did you? Absolutely did you agree? agree. <laughs> Put in the comments. Let Ghost be heard. Uh, Ghost. Yes. yes. Say it again. I think internationally like the international fans 
it's calmed down quite a bit, but there still are international fans. And I think this more just has to do with their age, but there are still international fans that are like super crazy about idols and their availability and they they're dating them essentially it's like not as bad internationally as it used to be and i think a lot of it like you were saying before is exposure and generation exposure our generation now that we're older and like we've experienced the ridiculousness of that we just like don't care but like the younger there's a section of the younger generation that i think they just they don't care because it's like this is normal like they're normal people they should be allowed to date they should be allowed to live their life yeah but i think once you get into the really younger fans that's when it's still like oh they're just oh my gosh yeah this is my idol this is i love them so much like i want to marry them sort of thing so you're saying they consider them more just the idol and not like yeah the human aspect. and that not the sense. human at least not yet because they're still young i think and i think it's just a maturity level because there's like i said a group, oh yeah for sure because there's a group range yeah. for age that it's just like well they're normal like this is normal this and that's they not should to be say allowed to do that. Everybody. Yeah, no. That's not what we're saying because even though Chun says that, like, Camille doesn't think like that at all. Um, she's very much in the same boat as we are in regards to stuff like that. Uh, and it is just, it is a mindset thing because if you're, you are just focusing on the idol aspect, it is easy to get lost into, oh, this person is like for me. Well, I've honestly never really understood that. I haven't either. I've had like... bias. I've had bias, and like obviously, we both have like p- idols we we love. Well, even like Robbie and I joke all the time. Just as an example, with all of my Juhan fan calls that I've had, and every single album, I pull Juhan. Like I, I don't need to try for the fan calls. I buy one album and Drew Hunt's in the album. Robbie has you joked with me so- some wood. <laughs> Robbie has joked with me so many times. She's just like, does the universe ship you two? And like we make jokes like that all the time but in my head i'm like i don't actually like expect to ever marry Jewel. and like that's just not a thing that's gonna happen. Yeah. I that's like I don't know how you would <laughs> Sounds stressful trying to get there, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> trying to like, think about it as in like, I'm for real about to do this. I got to figure out how to go over there. <laughs> I got to figure out what job I need to get to get closer to them. I got to look the part. <laughs> um, what else do I have to do? I have to learn the language. I, I'm tired thinking. But I mean, it. it's, but, it's... <laughs> but, I did, but, but, but what I was going to say was that that you know we love the idols and they're like growing up I was jealous when I got those like rumors or like this one girl like there was one rumor I don't know if it was true I would like to know if it was true that was, <laughs> I would I just want to know the truth <laughs> so like you know the you know how their idols just have like dating rumors yeah and I know back then it would be like oh my god like this Instagram picture is the same as theirs oh yeah place, they did that blah, with blah, Kai blah. and Jenny <sighs> They did that with Jungkook and, like, some girl. I don't remember who she is, but I was like, so either this is for real or she's crazy. (laughs) She's just following him around. Or she's just trying to, like, mimic the same spots. I don't know. I just wanted to know if that was true or not because I know Z. I would simply want all Answers. Yeah, just give me the answer. (laughs) (laughs) Because... When people have to, I think what happens, I think I'm all over the place, but I think it's kind of easy to get lost. It's, this is going to sound old, y'all. It's going to, it's easy to get lost in the sauce, you know? (laughs) If you don't remember that the people that you are in love with, they are human. (laughs) Like, it's just the same thing how, um, I know they're like Korea boos, you know, how they're just obsessed with Korean boys like that whole aspect but you have to realize that men are men like just because it's a different race doesn't mean they're any better than anyone else does that make sense yeah that makes sense so you could be in love with the idol that you look up to and blah 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 but if they're human there's a possibility that if you would like if your dream was to like meet with them and hang out with them there's a possibility possibility that you guys would just wouldn't even get along 
And that's why I think, too, a lot of the disillusionment from people mm-hmm. like that comes from the fact that they don't know how to differentiate different types of love. Like, the oh, love yeah. that I have for my idol, for, like, Juhan, it's adoration. It's not, like, I'm in love with him. Oh, I, yeah. just ad- I just adore him. And I look up to him. And people don't realize that it's not. They, I think they, because it's an idol and because they do adore the person they immediately tie it into like a romantic love and it's not the same well i can't really fault people for like being in love with their idols yeah well i mean like like, that's no there's no fault there's a difference between but i'm saying that there is a difference between like being really upset over the fact that they're like dating or got married that's a concern I don't like you want what are you gonna do like you want the idol to just be an idol forever yeah what about you like that Not, means you uh, get to go out and get married and have kids or do whatever you want to do whatever do whatever you want with your freedom I just don't think that's why I don't understand and like how does that even play in going off of that like if they're not allowed if they've got to be an idol forever and they're not allowed to go out and live their life and get married and you are what are you still like imaginary dating them in your head like what I I, that's what I'm curious about like if you're if they're not allowed to do it and you are are you still dating them in your head like what fantasy are you living like why can't they (laughs) I I just where I'm at, I need a physical person. <laughs> like the qualities of the like the idol and what they show. It's not. It's like, oh, I would like those qualities in an actual person, but we'll see yeah. how that even works. Because obviously, I'm not gonna like just. There's no way. I don't know. Like that's just like one in a million chance that whatever happened doesn't work. <laughs> in a, I don't know, dream. I am not doing all that work. It's, <laughs> they will literally have to come to me. And it's, <laughs> Or we gotta meet halfway, but it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna like, I'm not here plotting my life around it. I'm just like, wow, I love this about this idol. And that makes me realize that I would like this, this, and this in, you know, a significant other. Yeah. So I just. I think that's a healthier way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it really, it's just a way for you to understand yourself. That's how I look at it about what you like and what you do not like. Yeah. I I do want to say, though, that I feel like it's a bit sad that idols do have to resort to these measures. Like, I'm all for them blindsiding us like Bobby did and Chen did and Eli did. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. If they want to stay private until they think it's the right moment to do it, go for it. But I do feel like a part of it is them being afraid of the consequences and this whole stigma around like idols dating and the fans reaction and like losing fans over it when they're just normal people that yeah. also want to fall in love I think it's kind of sad that they do have to resort to this measure of like I'm just gonna blindside you guys with the news like it'd be nice to like for example Benzino and Stephanie I yeah, love but that wasn't easy either yeah no I was it wasn't but I love like the progression of that like when they first started dating to their life now and being able and I know they're celebrities so that's something that they were comfortable with showing obviously and there's been a lot of ups and downs with it from fans and non-fans alike Stephanie got a lot of hate yes they were and I think it was worse because they're an interracial couple so I think it was way worse absolutely I that's what I remember I was like yeah God. Every they were, they were really bad, you know, Stephanie. They, were, they was, mm-mm. yeah. I'm glad that they were able to like push through that. Me too, and I don't know. I just, I, it, I think a lot of it comes from. Well, I not, I think I know a lot of it comes from us being exposed to the our culture of celebrities. The dating gossip is what people want to hear and what people are interested in. I just. That's why I think it makes me sad that, like, idols can't do the same because, like, watching Benzino and Stephanie, I'm just like, oh, they're so cute. Look at how far they've come. Like, I would like, I don't want to know every single thing, but it would be nice to know, like, these two idols are dating or this idol has a girlfriend that's not an idol, that sort of thing. Like, it would just be cool to know that, to see that they're able to live their life outside of this job. I think instead of idols doing that just jumping the gun and just pushing out an article like that they just need to start claiming it and announcing it 
more frequently. Yeah. Like, everyone just needs to be very open about what they're doing, and it'll be normalized instead of just being like, surprise, y'all. I've been yeah. married for two years, and I have a second baby. <laughs> that... I'll let you guys know. Um, love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I do agree, but that goes back to our, our first point of the company being afraid about their sales for specific groups and oh my like God, it's so annoying I, you, you're the one that brought it up though but well, no, no i know i'm just saying because it, it it does depend on the company yeah like that's not to say the company is just gonna be like we're dropping you well like they did with hyuna and edon or I don't mean, now now look at them like nothing's really i wonder how like they're doing do they like love love each other What's, i want more of that I'm Let's do you that. not look at their Instagram? I do, but I'm not a um I'm not a person that when I see stuff like that all the time, it's just Instagram. You don't see what's behind closed doors. Oh, that's door. true. She's done some well, they've both done interviews with each other and away from each other and they talk very adoringly of each other fondly. He he seems very fond of her so in some of the interviews that he's done. He seems, like I said, very, I don't know how else to describe it except very fond. And the way she's spoken of him, he's very supportive of her. So it seems like they do. And they're that's on good. Instagram all the time. Oh, that's cute. I'm just not a person that people can lie on the internet. So whatever you see on the internet, you can't take us. Yeah, they've done like interviews though, and I don't know because photos are one thing in comparison to like that's talking it. about each moment? other. What was the moment you guys were like, "I love you"? <laughs> <laughs> she did an interview once. I'd have to find it for you. Where she, I think it was she described the moment she figured out that she liked him. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I'll see if I can find it and send it to you. It was cute. She basically was just talking about like this is when I knew that I had a crush on him. You know me, I'm like this is gross. This is so <laughs> this is so beautiful <laughs> and gross. I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy for them. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I just... We are. I am too, and I'm happy for Bobby and I'm happy for Chen as well. I just wish that it was more normal for idols to come out like that and be like, "I'm dating this person. I'm really in love with this person." Yeah, I just feel like, and it's a mix of just... the company and it's a mix of the fans' reactions, and I feel like ultimately, if idols just do that stuff. It's the then it'll be normal. Just, yeah, yeah. The companies can't just keep dropping people dropping because of it. People like are because you of it. The like, only thing is, at the end of the day, the company is worried about their sales and their I mean, yeah. They're, that's what they're worried about, though. But I know it's just you can't. I just think it's dumb of to, every, dro- to drop no, an idol I because too. of sales because that's your money maker. If we're thinking about it in that aspect, like it's kind of your job to see how you can turn that around. Like there are so many opportunities with like Hina. Like y'all just drop the, the couple. Y'all just drop the couple. That just seemed like the biggest money maker to me. Well, like Kiana was Cube's biggest money maker, and they. I know. It just and like sense. we, like we said last episode, whenever Cube has a problem, they just don't want to <laughs> handle it, and they're like, Ooh, "Let's get rid of it instead." So that was like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> Kiana. Kiana, y'all drop. Wow. Like, <laughs> y'all really shooting yourself in the foot with that one because they did. Wild to me. Wild to this day. Like, dang, you guys are. <laughs> I, of all of the scandals, quote, scandals an idol could be involved in, too, I feel like a dating one is such an easy thing to come back from, too, if a label were to just basically sit it out. And like keep putting yeah. <laughs> because the fans that actually care about the idol as a person and not just for their image, they're gonna stick around no matter what. And guess what? Maybe the throw the tantrums, they're gonna come back. Yeah, or like there there's a level of tantrum. I think there are some that might never come back. They're just that person, like that's their mindset. And I just I don't understand those people. But there's also those people that maybe might throw a tantrum, but then after they get over themselves and realize realize like oh this was kind of dumb of me to be this upset about something they're gonna return 
otherwise with for example someone like Hyuna she's so popular that people are gonna be upset about her dating but it's Hyuna they're still gonna go and there's always been they're gonna well they're gonna consume her media they're gonna buy her stuff it's Hyuna (laughs) like Hyuna's always had yeah it's always topics all the time yeah just based off the music videos when, when we're in the thick of the k-pop days like every time she released a video they're like oh my god it's so provocative i yeah it's just she has no clothes on and she's doing this dance that's not ladylike at all and who is she <laughs> who is she unacceptable and you know what she's still here and she still has like and she's still relevant the most views because <laughs> it's you know my head's so ridiculous it is so ridiculous. It is. So idols just need to, everybody just start talking openly about their dating life. Just do it. Everybody do it at the same time. And all the companies will be like, oh, I don't even, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do anymore. We should, I, it's just too much. The whole, all the idols at one time in my company, they just started talking openly about everything. You just want me to drop everybody? <laughs> start round up. We can't just do that. And they're like, boss, calm down. You need to sit down. You, you really losing it over there. I can't. I don't know what we're going to do. You always drop people when this issue comes up, but now we can't do it because everybody literally talked about it. And they're going to give up. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I liked that role play. That was really intense. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's just how I imagine <laughs> this stuff happening. Do you see what you're doing out here? Do you see <laughs> Read the article to me. Read it to me right now. What does it say? That you're married and you have a kid? <laughs> Are you trying to embarrass me? They're going to have a field day at this on Sunday. <laughs> when I meet up with the other ki- with the other fellas from the other companies. You're, get out. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just don't understand. Like, that's just my point of view of what I'm trying to make sense of. The company decisions. I yeah, there is no, there is no sense. They just. I made a bet and I lost the bet. So you, you're off. Pack your bags. <laughs> Pack your bags. I said one. I said one scandal. I didn't mean this many. That's the bet I made, and you, you blew it for us. So I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> you're gonna lose sales. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out, but just, you're gonna lose sales. Pull out another business loan. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'd rather do that than you know deal with you. <laughs> So it is at the end of the day people just need to accept they're they're humans and your they idols have a... are dating right now i don't know who needs to hear this but they're dating they're humans though they're entitled to that just like yeah any person who's not living a public <laughs> like like that is and if they haven't dated yet they will and if they're not they're definitely having sex and so. guess what they're kissing too, like, <laughs> holding hands and hugging, and <laughs> sharing food and all the gross couple stuff that I would like, <laughs> but I do not have that. So it's not about me. <laughs> I'm just here to let you know that your idols are already doing that stuff. <laughs> Same and <laughs> get over it. Yeah, I I don't even understand mm. people. I don't know what to say. Just. What are all human just beings? Just like how you gotta... Yeah, they're human beings. Just stop looking at them as anything other than that. You're literally just looking at them as a product. That's what you're if saying. If you get upset that your parents won't let you date the person you like, then why are you oh my getting gosh, upset? Guys. If you're getting this upset, then play Ultimate Games. Play the anime games. <laughs> they're never gonna get married. <laughs> and they're fictional. <laughs> It's going to be fine. I mean, like, they're not real. So you might as well have a <laughs> There is no harm, no foul in that instance. No, just do that instead. If you get this upset about it, spend your money there. They're never going anywhere. And you're going to spend the same amount of money <laughs> as you do with the idol. <laughs> How do you know this, Lacey? Because I play them <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but not for that reason. But I not just, for that reason. But I'm just trying to offer you a solution. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great solution. If you need recommendations, just hit our DMs. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was helpful. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody needs relationship therapy, Lacey, just our DMs are open. 
<laughs> read a manga. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, y'all. It's alright. It is okay. It'll be okay. Just calm down and let your idols do what they want. It's just I just thought of another. It is, and I just thought of another point too. As we were mm-hmm. talking, as I was listening to, you. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of another point of like not just the company marketing like these idols as an object for the fans essentially but Mm -hmm. also that they're the asian culture i guess there's they've got like this quote the image to uphold of innocence and like purity i don't understand that because why yeah no (laughs) flower boy concept and then y'all go right back into like floor grinding like spicy i don't know the alternative (sighs) concept um Flower no boys, I, I, I don't know, actually. The opposite of flower boy. The stuff that 2PM like does. Appeal, I guess. <laughs> like, you guys go back and forth with that. Well, yeah, that's what, that's, yeah, that's what really doesn't make sense, is they market these idols as objects, so they crank up the sex appeal, but then they do, like, the flower boy concept once, and there's just this weird limbo of, like, well, are they supposed to be flower boys that you want to take home to to your mom, or? They're supposed to be everything. They're supposed to be perfect. That's literally what it is. I know, but... It makes sense. It really does, if you're thinking about it from a marketing From a marketing perspective, yeah, it makes total sense. Because in South Korea, the flower boy thing is still very popular. So, I don't really care for it. Boy groups aren't debuting with it as much anymore, though. But they still use it as a concept. Yeah, I'm just saying it's becoming less common for them to, like debut with it they used to normal people concept (laughs) normal people (laughs) what what is normal went to the store (laughs) (laughs) my taxes (laughs) let me get my car maintenance today college debt (laughs) concept well obviously that's happening for nct with their hacker school board (laughs) going on that's what i thought this goes back to, as I've said multiple times in the past, this goes back to my statement of SM always has really great concepts at debut of like, we're going to have this be a multiverse, multi-world thing. And then they get so far into it that they just are like, what was the idea again? I'm tell- I told you the idea. <laughs> This no, but I mean, like, not for this specific concept, just like NCT. I'm just messing with you. I, you know, it's just SM always has really great ideas, and then somewhere along the way, they're just like, I don't remember what the yes. idea was, and but they're steamrolling, they're steamrolling at this point, oh so they're gosh. just like, it's too late to turn back. If you guys build such a strong foundation for your concept slash brand, it gets stronger the more you build. On. Yeah, but they and y'all don't even y'all don't even allow it to you don't even allow the foundation to like settle. They lose their focus. Although they're doing pretty good with Espa so far. We'll, we'll see how long that continues. That's crazy. I just Why remember you... reading something, though, where Espa did an interview and they were like, yeah, Espa made us like practice and like learn all of like what is required in our universe, essentially. And then I think back to this moment, I think it was 10 from NCT, mm-hmm. was like, we have to study that? No thanks. <laughs> and so none of the NCT members even know what they're doing. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of people to handle, though. 23? <laughs> 100? <laughs> That's a lot of people. I would not. I, fine. Do what you guys <laughs> want to do. I can't. I didn't want to be a teacher anyway. That's, that's me as, like, their manager. <laughs> I'm not here to be a teacher, so I'm leaving. And clean up the space by the time I get back. And then I'm closing <laughs> the door and, like, going home for the night. <laughs> I'm not saying they're they're messy. I'm just made, I just made up a scenario. And Lacey's like, guys, into the role-playing today. I'm always into that. I'm very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have anything else to add? If you get this upset over your idol dating... Or getting married or having kids. You need to go outside and take a long walk. Smell and, um, the fresh air. Touch the you know, grass. Look around. <laughs> look look around. around and realize that we're in a Panasonic. And that's not what you need to be so pressed over. <laughs> There's other things that you need to be upset about. That doesn't and this isn't it. Pop life. It includes the government. <laughs> 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 but I didn't say that. 
that's just alleged thoughts on that issue. This you need to go not... outside. <laughs> just go outside. You do need to go outside, though, still. That, that part was us saying that. But on a side note, I am very happy for Bobby. And I Me hope too. Chen... I hope Chen and his baby and his now wife are doing well. We haven't heard mm-hmm. from them in a while, but he also enlisted like right afterwards. Oh man! But I'm super excited for Bobby, and yeah, um, I heard people super happy like he's for gonna him. be a very good dad. He is gonna be a good dad. You need to go look up some or have Robbie send things to you. Just go look up on Twitter, Bobby with kids. He's so I've precious. I've seen like a few pictures of him with the baby. He is so cute and he's cuter with kids he's gonna be great i can't wait i can't wait i hope they do like a show you know um the cn blue member that had a baby with no, one no. of the <laughs> <laughs> dang wait not. let me i just want idols to make their own youtube channel and then they just it just explodes from there and then they make a family vlog and then everything's fine that's what i want who would you want to come out next saying that they're married and they're having a child are there any like in those regards or who would you think well i don't know yeah that's who, a... you, who you wouldn't be surprised well i don't know literally anyone from 2 p.m if they ever said anything i'd be like you know what i can't blame i can't blame whoever it is <laughs> gonna... gotcha. that that actually reminds me of the rumor regarding shonu that happened back in 2019 that was a mess with my favorite person and her drama i i could not help but think like damn whoever snagged shonu props like i'm not even jealous literally literally just any idol i'm just like dang you put <laughs> let's give it up <laughs> i just <laughs> i so, just... like any 2 p.m member i'm just like wow you you deserve a trophy. I don't know how you're gonna get it, but you (laughs) (laughs) You did that, sis. (laughs) I just, I always think about that. Like, sometimes I just have flashbacks to that moment, and I'm just like, dang, someone was with Shonu for a night. Like, that's gotta be great. That's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) That, and you saying 2pm just reminded me of that, because I was just like, man, whoever snags any of 2pm, props like c- come on the show <laughs> how did it happen just do you want a drink congratulations like we should celebrate <laughs> uh, the girls were like yeah even monster monster x like wow <laughs> what was that like details <laughs> so not on the re- off no record. yeah off yeah record. off record <laughs> no care I, else. tell me <laughs> i cannot find the member of the band or whatever that I'm thinking of who had twins with a girl group member who Oh my was, god, they had twins? Yeah, they had twins. And they the thing was I I was trying to think of it because they had a show and where it's like they basically showed their lives with the kids and everything but it was a specific show like- it was a specific show for them. It wasn't like Superman Returns where it's got all the families and the kids that are on it. It was a specific show for them, and it was him and her and their twins, and they just recently actually had another baby, a third baby. I just can't think of who it is. I can't think of her name. I can't think of his name, but Bobby, I was like, man, if they made a show, that'd be so great. Well, if everyone's saying like how good of a father Bobby would be or if he's ever talked about being a father a lot that means they're gonna have a lot of kids I don't know if he has but he I could see him as having a big family he Mm -hmm. feels like he'd be a great dad and icon are gonna be such chaotic uncles I've never heard a lot of families just having one child and not anymore it's not common either Mm -mm. Uh, everyone I'm thinking about no friends are already planning for the next baby but even like in korean culture or like asian culture they use well like china used to have like a two child limit i think there was like a, a ban on how many kids a lot of people just having one baby <laughs> i can't either it'd be boring for the kid yeah i feel like that's i feel like at first they're just like oh we just want one kid but they have the kid and they see them grow up a little bit 
and then they realize like oh it'd be great if they had a sibling yeah so let's have at least one more so that's pretty typical for that to happen yeah and then maybe like after like the second or third they're probably like ah, <laughs> this is enough <laughs> <laughs> i i just know that in the asian cultures i believe it was or at least east asian it was just more common for them to only have like one or two kids not multiple mm -hmm. but lately like watching superman returns for example the some of the families have like two kids three kids it's it's just becoming more common to have more kids that's nice but i'm happy for him and i hope we get baby pictures i want baby pictures i, I want do too. A cute baby outfits oh. i want all of it give me a bucket hat baby <laughs> a bucket i want hat bobby give me that <laughs> I want That's it too, want. and I want I want a TV show. Like I just want a TV show of him. His fiance can be on it if she doesn't want to. It's totally fine. But him and the baby and Icon, like all of the Icon members, oh, that'd be so adorable. <laughs> that would just be so much fun and so much chaos, but like the good kind of chaos. They're gonna be such if fun has uncles. Held a baby before that'd be a nice thing to um, record. Like the members holding a baby for the first time if they've never held a baby. I think they have because a lot of them have been on shows where they've like worked with kids before. Well, like baby babies, not like that's a difference. True, <laughs> true. And I see people on TikTok where they just hand the baby to their friend. Like, <laughs> what do I do? Ooh, what do what I do, do with I this? Do <laughs> you just gotta hold him. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. That's what I want to see. I want to see them hold the infant, the baby baby, <laughs> where it becomes a baby. <laughs> <laughs> the different levels of baby brought to there you by Lacey. Levels. No, I know there, there are, are, but it's just the different levels of baby brought to you by Lacey. It's a baby baby. <laughs> it's a little baby. You know, it's a baby. And you're like, oh, look at this baby. And then I did. <laughs> uh, it's white. I saw pictures at Toy's place of the kids when they were babies. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's y'all. That's what I said. This is you. Wow. I'm just acting like obviously <laughs> it was them. I, I've seen them grow up. They were just so, they were so small and cute. Aww. I'm glad Cairo's here. <laughs> <laughs> I can enjoy that baby before he's not a baby anymore. But anyway, that was like random tangent that then <laughs> it was required it was necessary it's okay <laughs> i just love babies <laughs> just i just don't want them for me <laughs> you're right i like babies when they're not mine at least I don't for the want time being a personal baby i, <laughs> I just want other people's babies <laughs> i want other people's babies so i can return them <laughs> so when i'm done i would like to return this baby <laughs> That's the I, like, I, I can't just return a baby. I would, baby. I would like to <laughs> refund on there's the no baby, please. For it. There's no receipt for it. So <laughs> it's just kind of like, there's no return policy. <laughs> it's like, one and done. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not ready for that. I like my 60-day returns <laughs> on items. But, yeah. Anyway, that's not y'all's business. <laughs> As she goes on another tangent. Uh, <laughs> <cut it off. laughs> okay. Well, that was today's episode and the levels of baby brought to you by Lacey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And Please. if you have any insight on Bobby's situation or anything in which what it, anything concerning what we said in this episode today and what you feel about the dating stigma for idols and whatnot feel free to share your opinions as well and Nicely. also share what baby outfit you would like the baby to wear and if you disagree about the bucket and if you do share matching outfits though not oh my just gosh. baby outfits die. we want to see what you want bobby and the baby to match and wear or bonus if you include the wife's outfit <laughs> I just want to see the ideas. If you disagree with the bucket hat, why? What other hat are you thinking of? A beanie? That's cute. That's actually that cute. cute. Someone drop that idea in there. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.